I've gotten to know the cosplay community over the past few years, and it's become apparent that sewing is a massive barrier for countless aspiring cosplayers. Even some of the most experienced and well-known cosplayers still view it as a necessary evil. So I decided to put together this tutorial to help guide you through the first big step, setting up your sewing machine. Whether you're a cosplayer, crafter, fursuiter, or just want to learn to make or tailor your own clothing, this guide can help you pave the way to your own sewing adventures. All right, you guys, let's do this thing. First thing we're gonna do is connect your power cable, this little guy right here. Plug it in. Plug it in and there we go. Then you're going to connect your foot pedal, this right here. That's what drives the motor of the machine. Pop that little guy in and there you go. Then all you have to do is hit that on switch and your machine is live. Next, you'll need a spool of thread and a bobbin in order to thread your machine and be ready to work. And first, we're gonna go ahead and wind that bobbin. Place the spool on the spool pin right here. Hold it in place with this little keeper. And then you're gonna draw out that thread and start following the guides here on the top of the machine. Now mine has little illustrations to help guide you through those guides. Um, not all of them will, but most machines in my experience do follow this layout pattern. Then you're gonna follow that screw, loop your thread around once, and lead the thread over to the bobbin winder. Now you're going to run your thread through one of these holes built into the bobbin from the inside to the outside. Place your bobbin down on the bobbin winder until it clicks into place and then go ahead and just boop, pop it right over. And while keeping slight tension on your thread, go ahead and press down on your foot pedal and wind up your bobbin. You can let the tension break your thread off or you can go ahead and snip that thread after the bobbin has finished winding. When your bobbin is as full as you'd like it to be, carefully snip your thread, unwind that spool thread from around that little screw guide right there Follow down, hook under, come back up. Then you'll hook the thread over the take-up arm. And if you can't see that take-up arm or if it's sitting a little too low, then just slowly turn the hand wheel until the take-up arm lifts up into position. Now you're gonna pass that thread through one last little keeper on the way to the needle. Then ever so patiently, thread that needle. Very nice. And we're just going to run the thread out to the side. We're not going under that presser foot just yet. Next, we're going to release the bobbin, pop it off of the winder, and remove this plate right here. As you can see on this illustration, you are going to insert your bobbin with the thread running in a counterclockwise direction. Then as you bring your thread around, let it catch under this little lip here. And then pull it around towards the foot so that the thread is running parallel with the presser foot. Click this little cover back into place. Then get a hold of your needle thread and gently tug it out to the side. Now lightly tug on that needle thread as you turn the hand wheel towards you and you can see the needle thread hoop 
around the bobbin casing, catch the bobbin thread, gently tug on the needle thread until the bobbin thread comes up through the needle plate. Now draw that thread out, and there you go. You have your bobbin thread and your needle thread, and you can gently run them through that little cleft in the front of the presser foot until your needle thread is under the presser foot, your bobbin thread is feeding out through the needle plate, and you are ready to sew. And now you are ready to place your fabric on your machine underneath the presser foot. Lower the presser foot with this handy little lever. Don't forget where your pedal is. That runs the machine and, by extension, the needle for you. Go ahead and press down with that pedal, and you're officially sewing! Look at you go! You're amazing! And then when you get to the end of the line that you want to sew, you can finish off that stitch with a few quick back stitches. On some machines, you back stitch with a little lever. On some, it's a button. Some you do need to be pressing the pedal, some you don't. That's something that you'll learn as you get to know your machine. Lift the presser foot. Gently tug the fabric away from the needle plate. Snip your thread. And there you go. It might take a few tries, but once you get confident threading that bobbin, threading the needle, threading the whole machine, it's all downhill from there, and you are learning how to sew. Way to go! Now, if you have any questions about learning to sew, working with your sewing machine, getting started as a cosplayer, please let me know. Comment below, and maybe I can make more tutorials in the future to help you out. Just remember, be brave enough to fail. That's the only way you're going to learn. Now, get brave and start cosplaying.